Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 2 to the power of square root of x. This is equal to 8 to the power of x. So what is the value of x? So let's provide a solution from here. Now, we have 2 to the power of square root of x. This is equal to 8 to the power of x. The first step to do here, we can express 8 basically as 2 to the power of 3. So we have 2 to the power of square root of x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x. Now, 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of n which we can express as a to the power of n times m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of square root of x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 3x. Now, since we have the same basis here, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m. This implies that the exponent n is equal to m. So applying this property, then we have that here, the square root of x, this is equal to 3x. The next step is to square both sides. So that now, here we eliminate the square root sign, and we have that x is equal to 3x to the power of 2, this means that this is actually in the form of a times b raised to the power of n, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by b to the power of n. So in this case, here we have 3 squared multiplied by x squared. So that now, here we have x, this is equal to 3 squared, this is 9 then x squared. So let's take 9x squared on the left hand side. So that now we have x minus 9x squared. This is equal to 0. Now you note here that x is common, so we can factor out x so that into the parentheses here we have 1 minus. 9x, this is equal to 0. So this implies that here, we have that. Now this implies we have two parts here. We have that x1 is equal to 0. And we have the second part here is 1. Minus 9x, this is equal to 0. So we can solve for x here. So this means that we can take plus 1 on the right hand side. And this means we have minus 9x. This is equal to minus 1. Let's divide both signs by minus 9. So that now, x2 here is equal to 1 over 9. So we have two values of x here. We have x1 equal to 0, x2 equal to 1 over 9. So let's verify, let's verify that x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 1 over 9 satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we entered 2 to the power of square root of x. This is equal to 8 to the power of x. Now starting with x1 equal to 0. Let's substitute 0 here. We have 2 to the power of square root of 0. This is equal to 8 to the power of 0. Now, 2 to the power of square root of 0, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 0. This is equal to 8 to the power of 0. We have that a to the power of 0. This is the same thing as 1. Now, applying this property, then we have that 2 to the power of 0, this is the same thing as 1, which is equal to 8 to the power of 0, which is 1. 
So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So let's check x2, which is 1 over 9. Again, we have 2 raised to the power of square root of 1 over 9. This is equal to 8 raised to the power of 1 over 9. So 2 raised to the power of square root of 1 over 9, this is 1 over 3. This is equal to, we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So here we have 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 1 over 9. So let's simplify here. We can simplify 9 by 3. So by 3, 1, by 3, 3. So we have on the right hand side 2 to the power of 1 over 3. This is equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 3. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And therefore, this confirms that both x1 and x2 satisfies the equation. So kindly of follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.